This is your host, Rambunctious. And your co-host, Tayamu Denku. Pick up the passion. Pick up the passion. Pick up the passion. Pick up the passion. Welcome to Pick Apart the Passion Podcast. My name is Ram Bunksus. I got my man Tayamo Denku. And uh, today we have two dudes, producer and rapper, who have a new EP called Bodega Rap. And um, one dude you probably know, I'm going to assume, from Team Backpack. That's where I know him from. And probably has done stuff that you probably know about earlier. But that's where I found him. And I was, it was a pleasure. Uh, we got Download Productions in the building, who they have an EP together. DLP was good. Um, DLP's work with shit, man. I gotta look at the list because it's so many. So excuse me, <laughs> but for real though, he's he, he's fucked with um Sadat X, Grand Pooba, Chris Rivers, Delta Funky, Homo Sapien, Fred the God's son, and Chris Rivers also is affiliated with my man Dizzle Porter here. I mean, I could keep going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But let's get into it, man. Um, first, why did y'all call it Bodega Rap? Let's get into that a little bit. Um, so Bodega Rap. Uh, like, cause the, the, the project came out first, right? Like we finished the project first and, uh, the title came along where like, it was actually inspired from a trip to the store. You know what I mean? And I went into the store and I was talking and like, it was a, uh, one of the old guys who owned the store. He came back and he's like, yo, you know how long I knew you? And I'm like, nah, he's like, yeah, I, I watched you grow up. And it hit me how like, um, bodegas literally watched a lot of us grow up or watched a lot of us like get together, have kids and watch a lot of lives lost and how the bodega is basically like our community center. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. um, a lot of the records on bodega rap, um, especially by the, especially um, coming from DLP, it just gave me this feeling of home, like the mm -hmm. Bronx, the bodega, mm -hmm. what's going to remind me of home. And the bodega is definitely something that, uh, Bring me there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got anything to add to that, DLP? Nah, just uh, <laughs> he said, you know, <laughs> he said it all right there. Like those, <laughs> the sounds just sound like, you know what I mean? That's why, like, um, I mean, like maybe I should save some of the explanations for the songs, right? <laughs> I mean, or both. I mean, we, you know, yeah, say it well, now it and then get like, more into it later. For example, like the keep up, right? The keep up sounds like, um, you know, uh, uh, uh like somebody threw on a beat in front of a store or the barbershop, you know what I mean? And we just started freestyling right there. And that's why the keep up came across like a groovy freestyle. And you might hear my homie in the background say something, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. like the bodega, um, you know, it's just like where we met our, our loved ones, where we lost loved ones, you know, it's just a community center. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's a fact. I mean, that's um, whether, it's, whether like you said, at some point, some people call it the corner store, no matter where you at right. in the U.S., it's the same feeling, right? I was telling yep, him earlier. it's the same um, feeling. That's where we meet up at. Yeah, I was telling uh, DLP before you got on, like the 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 um the, um Rashid the R.I.P. Rashid skit. I was wondering where that was from, and I just that interaction that happened everywhere, man. Whether you're in yeah, Cali, Arizona, the cat, New York, like yeah, the same. <laughs> like dog, I need one Swisser. You fucking with me right now, right or whatever, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> That happened everywhere, no matter the different races and all that. But that's that was yeah. that hit me like, oh man, I I relate to that shit. Yeah, you know? for example, like the, the the bodega cat. You know what I mean? Like you know, yeah. I grew up thinking like only my bodega had a cat. Then you go to school, and then you like, wait, why that cat look like the same color? Like I got the same cat. You know what I'm saying? But the bodega cat is so important. <laughs> Yeah, it's so important to the the culture of the bodega. You know what I mean, especially the cat on the bread. And when I heard that joke, it was like, "Yo, that hit home, yo." You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, anybody got anything else to say before we get into the first track? Because that's my favorite one. So, um, <laughs> I just wanted to get. I'm anxious a little bit. Um, so let's get into it, man. The first track. Um, you want to talk about that one? Just standing here. I mean, that first track is definitely the um, like I feel like that first track almost defines that title, like bodega rap. Like, so I lost a couple friends in front of this bodega called Mike's, 
And mm-hmm. um, that was just our spot. You know what I mean? That was just the spot where you, you got to walk past it to get to PS16. This was public school. You know what I mean? And um, you got to go under there to get to the train, the two or the five train. So the, like Mike's um, definitely inspired certain uh, events on Bodega Rap, but like um, just standing there, that first record, um, it's inspired by like, uh, you know, the stuff that we went through for the past couple of, for the past 300 years, you know what I mean? But a lot of that stuff (laughs) happens right in front of a bodega, you know what I mean? Like um, Romarley, Romarley Graham, who was like right there on 220, I believe he was on 228th or 229th Street in the Bronx. And, you know, just standing there doing whatever he does. And then, you know, ends up getting chased down by police, inside, gets inside his house and gets murdered, you know, in front of his uh, grandmother and family and stuff like that. That's where, like, just standing there kind of, like, is an ode to them. You know what I mean? Like Eric Garner and um, and also everybody who just grew up in front of the, you know, the, the, the bodega, like, where you... Uh, you know, there's parts in there where a lot of people, um, they started their business, you know, they started selling drugs in front of the bodega and then they made their way up. So there is also that positive side that comes from the bodega, you know what I mean? So that's what just standing there kind of gets the whole circle um, right in on that first track. I, I, I thought that's a perfect explanation. I ain't got no much else to say. Definitely. Let's get into it, yo. Yeah, this just standing there. Okay. Well, thank you. And you run your pack, nigga. Ah, like that nigga was being mad aggressive, wilding me Trying up. Trying to bully your shit? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm looking at this nigga like, what? I'm like, what? Run? Like, what? Like, so, I didn't know what to do. Because I'm like, yo, this is like my friend, I think. So, what do I do? So... Like, we had a little stash in the store. We used to keep a gun inside of Mike's store. So, I went to get the gun. Because I ain't know what to do. But I'm like, this nigga not about to take nothing from me. Because, like, I don't know how I'm going to explain that. I can explain that I shot this nigga better than... Yeah, I yeah this nigga took it. something from me. Yeah. So I just thought, like, yo, this better just go get this trap, nigga. Uh, that's it. The movement in cold sweats when I go rest. Nightmares, my eyes ain't closed yet. Visions and premonitions, mental prisons, conditions. Have your soul pressed when guys stay moving sideways like you got no left. No trust. Matter of fact, just as much as I'm gone thrust, I'm done crying over spilt milk. Let it soak up. They bully, but it ain't about the noogie. It's how they choke us. They fully know it ain't about the hoodie. It's how that bro looks by that boat digger. I was just standing there. See, that camera's clear. They ran up on me, so I ran in fear. Feeling safe until they broke in my place. Go check their camera, get a face down by my family and grandma there. It was by that boat digger. I was no drug dealer. I was no thug with a gang with some guns with him. It's just sometimes to help the kids, I might try to sell some cigs. They got a hole on me, then go on me and press it on my ribs. Nigga, can't you see I'm big? Please, I can't breathe, I can't move, I can't see, I can't live. It was that poor nigga. I was just standing there, see my hands is clear. I'm unarmed, but that never mattered. Like black lives can't see the loop unless you're reflecting. It's like a black eye. Gonna see the truth if you get the message. Don't let it pass by. If that guy just wants to drip, then get him baptized. But making blue faces is how new blacks ride. Starting a business and making millions in hurries, it got him worried. But that ain't your problem. Go get your money. It was by that bodega. The apartment was over it, so I'm over it. Now, Hot Pockets wasn't just where the oven is. We was growing with stolen whips. Now we own the shit. Went from broken smiles to diamonds scattered in the golden tips. That bodega. Where I became a man, refused to wait and stand. To win that hand to hand upgrade from baggy grams to laundry bags. Took that made a business and create someone to call me dad. Never kill nobody, yet they call me bad. I keep my foot up on the gas, there's no proof that this will last. By that bodega is where I met my future and my past. I took a poof and then I passed. It ain't stupid if I ask that bodega. You probably tell your future from your past. Mm. That bodega will probably tell your future from your past. Mm. Man, that's mm. like a perfect, that's like a perfect balance of like dope production and sick ass lyricism you know what i'm saying yeah that's what that is. so mm-hmm. question about the production on that um, i was gonna ask um so do do you send denzel the track first does yeah. he say i got an idea you make the track like nah, I, I i was just sending them tracks 
and he was just banging them out as I was sending them. Right. <laughs> okay. This just how know. I like, just how I like it too. You know, no, where, yeah. no, you know, no, where's the verse? No, nothing like that. It's just here. Here's some beats, and and I was getting them two at a time, three at a time, one at a time. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> the no, whole process, the whole process of the album went quick. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. The, the whole recording of you know, it and everything went quick. Like it, it came together quick. Okay. Yeah. And did you know the, the concept beforehand? Did you know the concept beforehand? Did either of y'all y'all just nah. started going? Nah, it was just yo, you wanna wanna work? And uh, we yeah. met a few times, we met a few times, you know, this and that. And met, actually I think the first time we met was two Chris Williams. And okay. uh, well, okay. oh, at a show at a show in Poughkeepsie, I think too. Yeah, and, um, yeah. And um and then it just happened from there. A few years, well, and it wasn't even quick like that. It was a couple of years later, you know right. that, that. You know, I started sending some beats, and it just it happened. Okay, because me, That's I'm still up. like, I'm still like in the area of trying to find what sound you know works mm. best with what I do. Even though there's so many, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So when I got like the packs from uh, DLP, and I'm hearing these beats, like if a producer is like on like on point you can't help it as a writer to just do your thing right away you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. so it was so easy like wait why mm -hmm. is it so natural you see what i mean and the, mm -hmm. especially the beats like um just standing there mm -hmm. with those strings mm -hmm. and the, those horns the horns rather not the strings the horns and mm -hmm. it just pulls a different um soul out to me you know what i mean like yeah 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 it, it's almost um as soon as you hear it, you're, it's like boom, right? Yeah, like, that, it's you know. so cinematic. Like mm -hmm. a movie is about to start. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sounds like that, and that's how that first track kind of sets the whole thing off. Right. Um, right. I always say it's like Christmas when you get a bunch of beats from a producer, and you're like, oh, hey, you know, it's, yeah. it's easy. When it's know? good, yeah. When it's good, <laughs> yeah. it's like, oh man, because you get a lot. I get a lot of like, that was cool. That was cool from a uh, from a lot of producers, but when you get a pack like from DLP, it's like, yo, that's for me. Yeah, <laughs> How <yeah>. much? <laughs> you like, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Yeah. Um, so talk about um, it's a hard subject, but talk about you were saying, you know, you had had friends that have been killed in front of bodegas. You, you know, the business happens there, good and bad. The the um, you grow up in front of it. So when you say, you know, I'm just trying to sell some Lucy's to, to get something for the kids and, you, and you, you're talking about Eric Garner or talk about how, like, it's the simple shit like that that we're doing and, and, and why that inspires a song like this, if that's the right word. You know what I'm saying? That, yo, man, dude's just living his life, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it comes to this bullshit. That's, that's the major part of this song that hit me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To be honest, that's what I do this for. You know what I mean? I always felt like um, if you go, if you are a rap or like you know, do this type of thing for your area, for the people. You see what I mean? Like you gotta speak for the people who don't speak. And like you know, when you rap, if you're really good, you're speaking in a language that a lot of people love to understand. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? They love to, and they they'll take that rather than a lesson. Sometimes you know what I mean? Like you go to kids go to school knowing lyrics before they know certain things that they're supposed mm -hmm. to know from school. Mm -hmm. So like you know, we're actually teaching, and um, we are actually those voices for those people. So that's what that's how those a song like that gets inspired by what's going on is because like. I kind of like um, feel obligated to be that voice mm -hmm. of the neighborhood, the voice for the people who can't speak or who don't speak this language that I speak, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and that, that seems to be conscious in every lyric. Does that make you slow down your writing to make sure it's like the words are placed? I said, does that make you slow down your writing? Because it seems like that's purposeful. Every word is intentional, right? Not necessarily, because I try not to speak about something I don't know about. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh -huh. yeah. So like, I kind of like, um, like, all right, so like, or, I, I, and I kind of try to speak about not everything, but like, um, you know, I could have spoke about a, a Trayvon Martin or something like that, but I, I kind of feel like since I'm from 238 uh, in the Bronx, 228th Street is right there. Romali is a little bit more closer to me. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. uh, Eric Garner, that's in Brooklyn. That's a little bit more closer to mm -hmm. what I understand. You know what I mean? So totally I think it'll be safer, safer for me to speak from my end, you know, and show that we all going through it. Yeah. You, know? you can always speak what you know, right? Like Yeah, right, right. Right. Um, the second track uh, is, a, is a skit. We had talked about that. Um, 
and we don't have to play it. But um, talk about the comedian uh, that you chose that from and why you chose that skit. Uh, it's it's funny as shit because like I was yeah. so we were talking about before how that that experience <laughs> in the store on that second on that skit is something we all experience no matter where you're from going to the corner yeah. store you know both day corner store. So talk about why you chose that comedian though and and, and what that what the, how that is signified you know what I mean um represented excuse me. So that you know he didn't really have a long uh, career mm-hmm. um, unfortunately but um, that skit particular skit or that whole segment rather was just like um amazing to me like his vibe his his uh mood and not to sound like um like being so new york but it just it was uh, so, it was, <laughs> yeah yeah that's true but i mean not to keep on bringing it up but it's like 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 i said but they could rap i wanted something to remind me of home you know what i mean and his voice his attitude his swag yeah. It just reminds me of home. Like he actually, like he did like a Jamaican skit in there that was like hilarious to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. this particular skit was um when I the bodega cat, you know, that is what um got me. You know what I mean? Not only with the, you know, uh yeah, but you black like this. Not yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which you is hilarious, I mean? yeah. Yeah, because that, that was perfect to go along with um, what happened with, uh, you know, just standing there to, like, you know, put some comic relief mm. after just standing there. And um, But the Bodega Cat, like, that goes right into Bodega Rap is the highlight to me of that skit because that's everywhere, you know what yeah. I mean? That yeah, it's, yeah. like, always on the bread and you always feel like, why is it on the bread? <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? He live here. You know what? I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's you know a good I'm impression saying? right there. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so so the next one's uh bodega rap. Um anything you want to say about this beat before we get started, DLP? Uh nah, just another one I sent to him and he did what he did. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Your job's gonna be nah, simple beat, today, yo. <laughs> Perfect, though. Everything fit perfect the way it all landed, though. Right, right. So, how many beats were you sending them at a time per song? Let's say it was like packs, man, like emails. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was oh, okay. a few. Yeah, it was a few at a time, you know. Okay, saying? okay. All right, man. Well, shit, let's get into it. Bodega rap, title track. Yeah, this yep. is a good one, man. I love this one, man. I love the whole thing, though. Let's just keep up here, man. Let's keep on. Let's be honest. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's dope. All right, here we go. Imported coat, looking fresh to the morbid joke. No, when my power ranger, just sometimes I'll be morphing slow. But the more it glows, yeah, I see I hold the bars like I'm starring so. But I never slink as if the faucet broke me, sink inside a foreign hole. Happens how we speak as if it's more as cold. And if the patching must occur, I'll make a rabbit from a bird. You see, my past is all a blur. My background is like in portrait mode. They back down when I'm back round, like how a course it go. Carry heat in case of fire, but then of course it's smoke. Rose from the concrete to where orchids grow. These dudes are only women with the orchard. But I ain't gonna drag it, nah. I see them flopping like they forced to fall Distracted in the tropics Watching Argentina versus Portugal I need one mil a day That's then to Portugal So if you got a plan I am the protocol Oh, great, give me Luna, I'm thinking more moolah. My more doula, which I think they're more 
sooner, but it's all right. I gotta get it while I can, though. Be the one to be just you. with the sacks on like they ain't. Oh, Yo, them flutes. I don't understand. It's just that I didn't want your mother to find out about this. What is it? Listen, what's going on here? Marijuana. You're joking. Yeah, smell them. How do I know what marijuana smells like? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, them flutes in that beat, man, is crazy. I, I would have chose that beat immediately, too, though. Yeah. Um, so there's... there's oh, uh, hold man, on, I'm sorry, he's, uh, he's muted right now. Oh. Denzel, you're mute. You got to unmute. There we go. There I'm go. back. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So for, I, there's one line in there that... It's... Okay, so as MCs, we choose the words, right, that we're going to yeah. use to rhyme, and that's a big deal. And certain people do it very <clears> well. I, th I feel like you've always done that very well. But, yo, I come from the concrete from where the orchids grow, and then rhyme that when I was watching Argentina and Portugal. I, I don't think I've ever yeah. heard... <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard orchids grow in Portugal rhyme together, and I was like, yeah. yeah okay. no, I've never, I've never heard right. that in my life. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I'll be trying I, to I didn't even know words. they could rhyme. <laughs> I'll be bending words, man. Talk about that. Is that something that's always been important in your writing? I mean, you've done that since I've ever first heard you. And yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, bending words is um something that I felt is is extremely important because I feel like it makes me unique. Like you know what I mean? Um, you know, being a um, J Jamaican background and that and hearing how you know that dance hall, how they how they do their lyrics, and um, it's like how do you make that word rhyme? You know what I mean? Yeah. But if you listen. The accent bent the word for is yeah. like wait oh, okay so that's what happened there so I just do that same thing in hip hop and um you see they do that in a uh, spoken word as well mm -hmm. and um and I, I realized like I gotta tell a lot of people like it's okay <laughs> you know what I mean like because yeah. a lot of people would be like yo you said that like this one line I said like um something like a megalodon and they're like nah it's megalodon it's like I, I'm bending it. I gotta bend it. You know what I mean. But you know what yep. I tried to. You know what um, I mean. As long as 100%. you know what I said, you catch it. If not, it went over your head. Somebody else will. They'll mm -hmm. explain. You know. So, so I bending gotta, words oh, is I'm important. Sorry. Yeah. I'm on that though, knowing that uh, you and Chris Rivers and Oswin Benjamin, y'all went, y'all, y'all, y'all must have hung out a lot the way y'all. Yeah. The way y'all used to rhyme, man, and y'all that one where y'all went back and forth on Team Backpack, right? Did y'all challenge each other on stuff like that, choosing words and how you bent them and who could do that better? It seemed like y'all was really friendly, but y'all was in competition at the same time y'all was rhyming together. Is that yeah, there there was there was a team backpack. Um, there was a seat. There was an episode, uh, a cipher where we did kind of like go head to head um, mm -hmm. lyrically. You know what I mean? But when it came down to the like the room when when we were getting down to like you know getting these ciphers together um i think like we kind of all wanted to play it safe <laughs> okay <laughs> so we all would like kind of play in our pockets you know what i mean mm -hmm. and a lot of times once in a while um i might try something chris would do like use some big words and like break them down like okay like you know and, and see what he think of that like yo what you think and a lot of times like you know we'll just be trying out each other's technique mm -hmm. but um for the the base of our verses it was like do what you do best because mm -hmm. you don't want to <laughs> yeah, you don't yeah. want to slip up next to who you standing next mm -hmm. to you know what i mean mm -hmm. so yeah a lot of times we kind of like um stayed we we definitely like that if you listen closely or not even if you listen you could hear it like oh snap like Listen to Porter. That's that, that's Chris Flow right there. You right. see what I mean? And yeah. we'll be trying each other's stuff because that's what happens in the studio. You know, you get mm -hmm. kind of, um, you know, you kind of kind of blend in with the styles or whatever. Um, and Chris, and especially, you know, if you listen to Chris, he, like his 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 style kind of like became more, uh, um, more to the point now. A little bit more like Oswin in terms of how the words are breaking down, and you're gonna understand what I'm saying. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. like, and that that's the benefits of us all being in the studio together. But when it came to the cipher, we kind of like stayed in our pockets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I would compare that to comedians bouncing jokes off each other almost, right? Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, that's that's how I looked at that. Like, if you had three comedians in the room going, you know, who can make each other laugh more? You know, that kind of thing. Right, right. Y'all was and flexing if you were, skills. If you were, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and if you like a, a a person who joke after joke after joke, you do that. And if you're a person who, like, takes time with your joke, you do that. But we still got to get the laugh at the end of the day. Like, yeah. that's what it was. Exactly, exactly. How long, how long did y'all... Um, know each other y'all grew up together like how does how does that how does that work where y'all three get together and and create like that like so i guess we kind of all met on on the um on the come up you know what i mean like um so i was i had did a cypher with chris back in like 2012 for i think okay. k shark tv or something like that in front of the yankee stadium and um of course, I already knew who Chris was, and then, but Chris knew who I was, which was like, oh, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yo, I already heard of you. Da, 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 this, that, that. So we kind of linked from there, and then we would run into each other. And how I feel is like, if we um, if we on the same journey, you know what I mean? We're going to run into each other. Like, that's how we know we're on the same journey, we're on the same path. So we kept running into each other. And um. Uh, one year it was a show set up with um, I believe it was Chris and Oswin and my and no, it was me and Chris. I, I'm not sure who the initial setup was at first, mm -hmm. but I know all three of us were on the show. Um, mm -hmm. and Oswin called me um to and there's a video on it <laughs> on YouTube when he explains this is hilarious, but he called me to set up for us to do a song together. Mm -hmm. Um, and he. <laughs> Claims that I was like really like uh huh okay whatever but <laughs> he's like I was just high my nigga I was just high yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got this whole story about yo I pulled up to wreck house and there's a bunch of Jamaicans outside like it's just hilarious <laughs> yo hilarious. um but oh, uh, and I turned my seat around on some Doctor Evil shit like <laughs> you know like you gotta. <laughs> But yeah, that was the first time me. Was Wait, like, so is that story real, or are you downplaying it? There's there's some truth to it, like in terms, <laughs> in terms of like pushing the smoke out the air when he got in the room. Like that's <laughs> that's true. But that's, um, that's that's dope. <laughs> yeah, but but like of course it's inflated. It's a movie, so <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> but yeah, so that's how we met. So then, like, we were um all doing ciphers for Team Backpack. But then, the time when they put us all like ho my whole thing with the cipher thing was like, whoever is in the cipher with me, like, I want the person after me to be like, oh shit. Now I don't want him to fuck up, but I want him to be like, yo, you know what I mean? Because like, if if the crowd reacts like that, fine. But if the person after you reacts like, you know what I mean? It's like, mm -hmm. yeah. So I'd always go like second to last, like that type of thing. And I was like really strategic with it. But when it came up to these dudes, it was like, damn, we know each other. Like, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we can't step on each other's foot. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why we started OCD. Like, yo, how are we going to play with this right here? And then we started meeting up in the studios uh, more often to get this like kind of a coordination down pack, which we're like, not just rapping um, verse for verse, like we're rapping in the middle of each other's verses. And it's mm -hmm. like, yo, we're so tight that we know each other's shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like that's that's what the, the image we want to give when we do our ciphers, like, yo, mm -hmm. damn, they all just having fun. And that's what ciphers is about. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Uh, do you think that happens without the personal bond? Or you think that's something that can be built without that? I don't think it does think, happen without the person. No, it doesn't. Right? No, there's always somebody there who knows what they're doing when they're not on the mic. And there's the people who just stand there trying to look tough or trying to read their lyrics or trying to like say it in their heads and rehearse. And it's like, nah, support the other dude. Because if you do it right, he going to do it right. You see what I'm saying? Like it, it, it doesn't really, a lot of ciphers that I see, um, not all of them, Every, they're fire, you know what I mean? But a lot of them look like, who you mad at? Why y'all right. <laughs> battling each other? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, you ain't, you know, you're not battling nobody. Relax, right. you're talking to the world. You know what I mean? You can do some punches at people, but don't relax. Like, this ain't, it, yeah. it's not battle rap, you know what I mean? Right. So, 
I mean, but some people battling for their stakes and, you know, you, yeah, you probably felt like that because you was comfortable, themselves. bro. Yeah, you was comfortable. Yeah, yeah. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're not so comfortable, you know what I mean? So, yeah. um, so when you get tracks back like this DLP, man, like, uh-huh. what are you thinking, man? What's the first track you get back and what are you thinking? Like, you like, oh, shit, like. Half the time I got him back, I was at work and I was trying to find a way to leave work. Ain't that a <laughs> bitch? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, I gotta go piss right quick. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I work. But, but I mean, yeah, but I mean, yeah. your reaction. Yeah, actually, I remember when I sent you a track, it was the same thing. Um, yeah. But but when you do hear it, what's you know what is your reaction getting these first tracks back? Because I mean, oh, it was exactly what I wanted. Yeah, it was exactly yeah. what I wanted to hear. Yeah. You know. Like don't change it. Right? Yeah, you know, like you know, no, no sending it back saying you gotta fix this stuff. None of that. Yo, perfect. that's a fact. <laughs> Man, that's it was up. perfect. Like, <laughs> that's a everything fact. Just, everything just fell into place the way it was supposed to. Mm-hmm. You that's know? what's up. That's what's that's up. Dope. Yo, you got something right, right now, baby? No, no, I was just saying that's dope. Oh my, no, no, yeah, I was, I was like um sending him tracks and I'm like waiting like to see like especially for bodega rap. It was like, do we need a hook? You know, yeah, like, nah, I don't need no hook, man. Yeah, Leave yeah. that shit how it is. Like, all right, man. Like, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what's up. And was that easy between y'all the synergy, the decisions? Sometimes that shit is just like, you, you feeling that? Yeah, cool. I, think, I, yeah, I think there was one. I think there was one track that you recorded that we didn't. Uh, I don't think it was a full track though. Mm. Which one? Um, it was one of the first ones that you recorded. It was over like a I I, I chopped up the Napoleon Dynamite. Um, <laughs> but it wasn't on the project, right? No, it wasn't on the. It was left okay, off. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So is that, that gonna be, that, that gonna that be a leak track later on, or I, I, I don't even know. Exclusive. I got it. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm it. But uh, next track is in the air, man. That's I mean, like I like every track, so I'm gonna keep saying that's fire shit, you know. <laughs> but um, I'm serious. I'm I'm dead serious. I wouldn't lie to you. I just be like, next track, let's that. get into it. You know? <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah, he, he's being for real because like literally, <laughs> we don't play everybody's full record no. on, on the show. Yeah. We, we, we <laughs> play what we, we like. Don't, you know what I'm saying? So, but like this whole, the whole that, record yo. is dope, yo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 100%. Uh, we would have been right. like, yo, we're going to play like three tracks. You know, mm. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if, 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 you know. But um, talk about In the Air, man, and, and how that concept comes about. So In the Air is like, first of all, that beat um, was everything to me. Like beats like that, where I could just groove, like that's that's like uh, my inner. That's that's what I love. You know what I mean. So the beat had this groove to it, and um, after doing Bodega Rap, um, which kind of sounds like um, like the feeling of Bodega Rap, the track track number um, three, it uh gives me this feeling of being like under a couple bears. You know what I mean? Like wave. You know, then in it. Then it's like, yo, I'm lit right now. We're in the air, you know, just as a sound. It gives me the feeling of being high. Like, I'm feeling real, uh, you know what I mean? And that's what kind of, like, mm. led me into just knowing what to write with this one night. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a perfect exclamation for me. Let's get into that shit. <laughs> I mean, Here we go. Make me want to roll up right now, but I'm not smoking right now. So, so. Yeah. yeah. You take your break. I yeah, yeah, no, I, I, do your thing. <laughs> do what you gotta do. <laughs> Here we go. This is in the air. Let's go. Pick, that's when I hit her with the thumbs up, the peace sign, the east side, the cheap smile, the guns up. No 
I'm not opposing, not the one to model life like. I've been in the posing, everyone was trying to be like Mike. Think your favorite's from until I show you that he's bite sized. Fight or flight, homies looking up like I like skies. What? Either we make it happen or it doesn't. Either we make connections or it's buzzing. Let that download as we go. In the clear, so I'm in the air, and this kind of crash you can't simply flare. But I fly straight like I'm in the air, and only land for gas and to fix the gears, and I'm up again. They ask him what's up with him, he smile a lot. Homie's probably down on his luck again. Rabbit foots to step again, might just need a leprechaun. If one's already salty, you might as well put some peppers in. But most of y'all the sleep cycle, I'm pedaling. But most of y'all the sheep, I'm out here German shepherding. Sitting at the top, steady burning the medicine. I'm with the new height, and I ain't talking about measurements. I'm talking about. Whoa. Whoa. I mean, fire. super fire. I I love I love the uh, the creativity in like in like your bars, like your writing. You know what I'm saying? Like the uh, I mean, just to play on words, to play on ideas. Like it's cold. It's super cold. Appreciate that. Yeah, and, and the flow <clears throat> on that one was different than any other one. Um, right, right. So it's right. almost like you bagged back a little bit and went with the lazier I'm um, high flow. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and just played around with it, like even mm-hmm. like during the little. Um, bridge part, you hear me say like the um, dropped out of school. No, nah, I'm gonna take that out. You see, yeah, I mean? yeah, like yeah. I wanted to yeah. play around, like you know, make it kind of like break that fourth wall real quick. Like, yo, mm. I jump back <laughs> in. You see, what I mean, yeah, talk about what the fourth wall is to people who might not understand that. Oh, that's that's the um, that's that's heaven to me, you know what I mean? That's where like there's this, this fourth wall you go into, and like, especially like, especially um, performing um where it's kind of just you and yourself you know what i mean that mm-hmm. I, I would describe it as your soul taking over mm-hmm. you know like um and like you kind of perform without the audience or like you know there's an audience there but you're not thinking about that you're not worried about that you're so focused on you're so into the song at the moment and then you might break the fourth wall and talk to somebody and yo how y'all feeling tonight that's breaking the fourth wall like mm-hmm. um uh, a movie where you know the fourth wall is breaking a lot like deadpool you know what i'm saying like where he he break the fourth wall he he look at the screen and he talks to you. yeah that's mm-hmm. like breaking the fourth wall but um it's mad important to me especially um like i said on my performance because i feel like that's what separates me from everybody who like goes on stage like yo yo and just the whole thing is like you in the crowd which is fire you know what i mean mm-hmm. but once in a while you go into that fourth wall like you know mm-hmm. you, you just go into your own space and they love that because you're so connected with your song it's, it's, it's that's where the passion mm-hmm. is shown it's almost like you're opening yourself up right? yeah 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 yeah, mm-hmm. yeah you, very vulnerable moment you know what i mean mm-hmm. yeah yeah so here we go so Already salty, might as well put some peppers in. Well, most of y'all are sleep cycle. I'm peddling. Well, most of y'all are sheep. I'm out here German shepherd and sitting at the top, steady burning the medicine. I'm with the new height, and I ain't talking about the measurements. I mean, come on, dog. Like, like, I got a like, layer, yo. <laughs> like, is, like, so, like, is that just a net? Like, because when I write, I mean, I'm I'm real nice at freestyling, so like when I write, it's kind of just a natural flow. Is that kind of how that is? Like you just, or do you, or you take more time to think of the bars? No, nah, yeah, you know I, I I do take time to think of think of bars. Like, um, I don't really want to rush when it comes to that because I I like to layer. You know what I mean? 
Because I yeah. know that people are expecting bars from me. And the thing is, when you do bars, the fear of uh, the outcome, the outcome of like people hearing it and saying, oh, that's fire. And that's it. You know what I mean? Mm. So I kind of like feel if I layer them or tuck some underneath or these double entendres, like, you know what I mean? If I do that, every time people listen to it, they hear something new. You know what I mean? Mm. You always have something new yep. to hear. Okay. Oh, snap. I just caught that. Yo, you know what I mean? I try to make it so some lines actually do go over the head. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But then start like, then try to still keep it like eye level so that it's like you don't want it to to like you know if somebody can't understand you that it's a total waste of time. Right, right. That's what's up. Yeah. Um. So next we have to keep up, and you had started to talk about that earlier. Um. You want to yeah. get more, more into that track? And, and what that's about? Yeah, the keep up is like, like I said, it, it, it just gave me this feeling of like, yo, who got that beat playing right now? I'm about to start mm-hmm. spitting something, you know what I mean? In front of mm-hmm. the store or in front of the bodega or whatever. So this one is a, another joint that's kind of like um, just packed full of um, bars and micro stories and stuff like that. Um, and we actually shot the video for the keep up out in Sweden, which was pretty dope. Oh, um, real quick yeah yeah so just to plug that in check out on youtube but yeah, yeah. um yeah yeah the keep up is just um another joint i feel like because like i said people expect bars from me so like that's that's my thing when it comes to projects how do mm. i put these bars on you know music to make right. music with this yeah right. you know so that's what the keep up is one of those where um this is for my team backpack fan or like yo this is what yeah. denzel porter is. this is who they introduced um me to you as you know what I mean right that's, that's right what the keep up is um so is it hard is it hard to get away from that and so do you feel like you have to give it or is that just who you are and so it's gonna happen anyway you know um, what I'm saying I had to face that fact you see what I mean like, yeah you know, did I ask I, that correctly is that the right way to answer <laughs> I, I got what you're trying to say okay yeah but but yeah I had to face that fact like um like you know I'm trying to do songs or even the down to content you know what i mean like mm. um like i spent a lot of time trying to make per- good videos you know what i mean and mm. um get photo shoots and stuff like that i had to realize yo bro um your job here is to put out you know what i mean and your demographic is not necessarily holding you or holding your foot because you don't have your videos out like that mm. i'm not that artist you know what i mean or holding your foot because you don't have a chain on or holding your foot because you um are not making sing songs you know what i mean they mm. they want to hear bars they want to hear that real shit they want to hear what you do you know what i mean mm. and i had to face that fact so. okay okay all right man let's get into it to keep up yep Yo, D.O.P., man, what y'all doing, man? You sending me this match. You send me some matches, I'm going to start a fire, you feel me? You get me? Yeah. Then I'm going to rub my palms, you know? You feel me? But hold up, where's that Pepto-Bismol? Because haters always pull up when I'm eating new money. I be balling like I'm teething. You crawling, that's your weakness. We keep them pieces running to the knee stiff. And my favorite president's done met the Reaper. I see you trying to keep up. That route working? Oh, how perfect. That spout splurting. Your mouth surface because you clout thirsty. I win so much I could be cloud surfing. And if I'm mouth worth it, nah, she ain't a groupie, just a proud person. You see, this investment returns clean. Even my clothes rock, I'm disinfecting. We burn trees that we hash down and pass out. Like a pop quiz to a class clown. You missed the section. Now pay attention. Queen sitting through bitter. Kings digging through litter. Bitches living through bitches and niggas living through liquor. Know that who you are to them may not be who you are to me. I see it's hard to balance being who you are and are to be. They just do it for the gram. They became what y'all perceive. Hey, your mind's already trained. If this game is not believe, some will do it for their gang. The rep, they block, they play spots and get you for your chain like Ray Kroc. They stay hot. They're playing ball, I play stocks. Build a portfolio so my rainy days stop. Starting umbrellas with my conglomerates. Y'all work hard for them product kicks. I'm about to buy that building where your mama lives, nigga. I can keep going. Yeah, I got some more. While y'all was kicking rocks, I was on bitches' blocks, slinging cock, wave spinning like it's out that singing box. Yeah, poured as far from a saint, but I'm done fucking with bitches. That's discouraging. That's harder to think. I ain't trauma. 
traumatized, I'm traumatized. Jail time, them couple of baby mama guys, not all could avoid it. Better yet, not all could afford it, not all could just alter their calling and foil it. Assault on the fall that you fall and you spoil it, it's all just annoying. I'm brave and just faking the joyous, but I'm sinking, guess my balls isn't buoyant. See, I'm sinking, guess my balls isn't buoyant. But you know what? We don't float, we fly, nigga. So is that where you started rapping? In front of the bodega? Huh? What is that where you started rapping? Is in front of the in that style, in front of the bodega type thing? Or what's the first what's the first experience of you spitting bars for somebody? Man, the first experience of me spitting bars, I was like eight years old. <laughs> okay. And then right. I had a I had a show in fifth grade and like um there was like a a little moment where like it was um we were leaving the show, it was real late, me and my mom and this this guy, like an older guy who was there, like not old, but like I could see like maybe a little older than my older brother. Okay. And um he was walking past and he was like, Yo, you could spit little man and it was like ah oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I looked up like I didn't even see the face. That was God, yo, like okay, oh that's what I'm here to do, ma. You heard that? Like you heard that. I know That's you heard what's it. Up, man. <laughs> so <laughs> like um, but like around high school, um, like so I've been ramen since like those times, but like in high school, um, that was what really changed it for me because in high school that's where you had to battle, you know what I mean? Whether you rapping or you had to battle. And um I ran into one and I couldn't hold my like I just didn't know what to do like you know what I mean. But so you ran into your day, first battle, you said. Yeah, like I was just standing there, like, just standing there. Uh, yeah, hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> I, was, I was just standing there, and it was rhyming in the lunchroom, and um, and then I got snapped on, and I'm like, oh, that was for me. Like, <laughs> so what I gotta do now? Like, oh, it's my turn. Oh, oh, um. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll figure this out. Like, you know, <laughs> but um, cause cause my style at that point was a little bit more flows and like I could really rap on a beat. But mm -hmm. these these kids have bars, like punchlines about your clothes and this and that. So like the mm -hmm. next day I came back and kind of got into this battle community. And um the kid who like I battled I, so there was a there was a ninth grader who battled the best rapper in the school at the time. Like he called him out, like I want to battle the best right now. So he battled him and then I battled him and I beat him. So so for like the, four, and then he left the school. So for like the four years of Truman High like, School, I was hey. like, yeah. <laughs> but then when I reached 12th grade, a ninth grader beat me. Mm. But I take that, I take that. <laughs> You like I had it for for three years, four years, bro. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, no. I think I, get I that. think it. I get that. What um, about uh what sorry. about you, uh uh DLP? When did you start producing for the first time? Yeah, huh? Um let's see. We taking you back, bro. Yeah, because I used to rap. I used to I was rap. about to ask you if you ever rap. I, yeah, Ooh. yeah. I, <laughs> um, I I went on tour with boot camp click and the roots off of that. Rap that's how yeah, that's how I linked up with Boot Oh, that's news to me. Yeah. <laughs> so that's yeah. when you that's when you met Ty out in Arizona then is that time. Yeah. When you was you was yeah. rapping. Yeah, I was I put I opened up down shows. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, dope. I, okay. I opened up for the roots in like ninety six, I think it was. Yeah. Whenever they dropped their first album. And okay. then um Boot Camp, I was on the For the People album. Um they were okay. doing like skits on that album. So I, I had did a skit. Oh dope. I just linked with them through that. <clears throat> and um, then I was doing street promotion for Tommy Boy, too. Okay. So that helped. Okay. Um, and that's that's another way uh, I met Ty, too, was through, through Tommy Boy. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, um, so. so. But producing, um, yeah. let's see, my partner, I was I had a partner, too, rapping. But once we got done with the boot camp shows in, like, 97, he quit. And by, like, 99, I was producing because I started doing solo tracks and I was paying for beats back then. And mm -hmm. I was like, why, why am I going to pay for beats that I can't afford at the time? Right. Um, 
So I was watching my producer and he taught me how to produce. Yeah, because mm-hmm. so everybody knows you couldn't just go on the internet back then and buy yeah, nah, I was, mad beats I was, and get free beats and, and, and all that and, shit. In 98, 99, I was paying like $350 a beat. You know, and, tra- and traveling <laughs> to Jersey to, to get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. you know, so so I know about paying for beats. Yeah. You know? Sub- <laughs> subsequently, I ain't had no beats back then because I ain't had $350. Fucking dollars. Yeah, right. But anyway, that's anyway. anyway. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? I'm rapping over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I feel you though. Yeah, um, so I just started producing. I said, fuck the rapping and just start. I didn't want to be a solo artist. Yeah, just know, straight so. ingenuity, just straight business yeah, ingenuity yeah. at that point. But yeah. I, I did my handful of shows with different people and then. You know, so I experienced that. Um, I DJ for years, and uh, I just said, "Let me start producing." And and I still, still to this day, like I don't rap, but mm-hmm. every time I make a beat, I will, you know, rap to 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 kind of fit who I want on the beat. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, so you still yeah, rap that's... a little bit then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I'm trying to pull some shit. I don't like. Oh, so you still yeah, rap a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I'm not, yeah. I'm not gonna rap and for that's... you right now. <laughs> I know, dog. I'm not gonna rap. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Yeah, I do still got the, you know, I still got the mic. You got the chops. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's what I was going to ask. I was going to be like, yo, so does that mean like when you, when you put a song together and you get like the verses back, you're like, "Mm, man, I could have did something on this. (laughs) (laughs) Does that happen? Does that, could you judge more critically then? Yeah, it does. Cause I'm very, um, I don't know. I'll tell you if I don't like your verse. You know, yeah, I'm not yeah. going to accept something that, you know, I, I remember I, I did a record with Pooba, with Grand Pooba, mm-hmm. and his shit sounded like he recorded in a, in a, in a bathroom, you know, and it was mm-hmm. like, yeah, you got to fix this. Like, yeah, I can't, you know, I can't, I can't work with this. Every other verse sounded great, you know, and, and he fixed it. But like I said, I have no shame to tell you, you know, yeah. that, yeah. you know, and I definitely, you know, picked throughout, you know. There's verses I haven't used. I, I got a computer full of verses that I haven't, you know. Mm. From, used, from from rappers that that you've from been rappers, uh, Yeah, that are just sitting on the record. It's not finished. It's not, you know. I got mm. EPs in the work that, that I got two EPs that I started before the Denzel Porter project. And, and we finished that first, you know. Mm. <laughs> it's like, I, mm-hmm. I, just the way he works, you know. And same thing with Intel that I'm working with now. Mm-hmm. Between these two dudes right here, like, they're, the, they're, they're some of the best that I've worked with because it's like they, they take initiative. Like he went out to Sweden and shot a video on his own. It was like, yeah, yo, I just, yeah, yeah. you know, hit me up and was like, yo, I, I just shot a video. Cool. You know, yeah, <laughs> good yeah. looking, you know. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't get that from a lot of these artists, you know. So it's like mm-hmm. a lot of times, unless I want a video, it's I, I got to put the money out or I got to push for the video or I got to bother them for the video. It's mm-hmm. like I said, between these two, it's like, you know, I, I the Intel project, the Denzel project. Here, here's some beats. Do what you do and send them back. And that's how. That's, that's how. Up. Two of the quickest projects I've ever done. That's you know? what's up. Yeah. That's dope. So, how fast did you write this then, uh, Denzel? Um, it didn't. Uh, Bodega rap. What was it was long. Like, nah, it wasn't more than a month. Yeah, no, it was okay. quick. Okay. Nah, yeah, probably even two weeks. <laughs> like I said, yeah, I was getting two, three tracks at a shot. Yeah. You know, so. Dope, dope, okay. So the next track is Apparition. Um, talk about why you named that that. I, I personally have a track and video called Apparition, and so when I saw it, I was intrigued, like, oh, that's dope. I've never seen anybody else name something that. So I was like, yeah. dope, I got to hear this now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So talk about that one. I mean, um, so... I'm into that shit, bro. I like I like that spooky stuff. You know what I mean? So like, and storytelling is my thing. And mm-hmm. on top of that, um, I'm a huge like. You know, I'm trying to give you the whole thing behind how like how songs like Apparition come up. Mm-hmm. Um, like my favorite writer in the world ever is uh, Edgar Allan Poe. You know what I mean? So I like how he um, mm-hmm. sets up his stories. How creepy it is. How it's either, yo, I'm going to say what I'm going to say. It's either you're going to understand it or you're not. You go, mm-hmm. you probably understand it 40 years later after I die. Mm-hmm. Like, I got pull, you see what I mean? But just say it, you know what I mean? They'll understand it later. So with Apparition, like, I wanted to tap into, like, um, because storytelling is, like, um, like that's, that's that's how I vent. You know what I mean? That's how I get, get uh, you know, my feelings out and stuff like that. And um, 
with apparition i wanted to write a story about someone who like i felt was there that really wasn't you mm -hmm. know what i mean mm -hmm. and i wanted to name it that because that's a ghost you mm -hmm. know what i mean like damn something's there like nah none's there is it there none's <laughs> there like you see what i mean like and, mm -hmm. and i wanted to name it something um something ghostly but uh like uh i guess like the word apparition just is, is my thing like i like that word it just stands out mm -hmm. rather than ghostly ghost or poltergeist or like stuff like that you know mm -hmm. yeah and i think it's just i think in the song you kind of mentioned or maybe maybe somewhere in the in the record you have to me it kind of signifies the people that used to be in front of the store right you know what i'm yeah. saying they're they're yeah. the apparitions you kind of speaking of in a sense too um ghosts but you know, not but not ghosts. You, I hate to say it, spirits. Let's say that. You know what I mean, spirit. Uh, you right, know what I'm saying? Right. Okay. Is that right, is right, that kind of what spirit. you was going for for this, and, and and what you were trying to convey? In a way, in a way, but it it also like I can't um stray from the fact that it is kind of um a love song, I guess. You know what I mean? It is kind of like if you listen closely, it's like yo, is he talking about somebody, or is he talking about something? You see what I mean? Like that um area of it and like the beat also kind of helps with that uh spookiness you know what i mean like um it helps to carry how um that airiness that confusion of like yo what is he where what is he talking about who is he talking about where is he going with this you know what i mean mm -hmm. um so that's kind of where it was uh so to say when it comes to like um the concept of it okay okay Let's get into it, man. Apparition. DLP Denzel Porter. Strike. Perfect person's what you seem to be The kind with good views that come with scenery But That could backfire like vibe would Sometimes shook and only trust as far as my eyes could But you seem past that till I beat the feelings You beating demons, you Sam and Demon You supernatural and decent with your mama's features With a vibe that's like an open freezer You know which season the hottest one I want some of you but winter, spring or fall back Whether or not to think about all that Put on my thinking cap and pop or something Cause the only time I'm grounded is when I'm on to something Feel me? I guess it's feasible People do change like seasons do That x-ray screen ain't what I seen You skeletons in the closet Got your heart in your pocket Bumping that gangster shit Might as well have a pistol by your pancreas But as the rain falls And the day is dark The waves get high Illuminate stars I feel like the moon it ain't too far away I said it feel like the moon it ain't too far away Milky Way just got this sour taste Am I? Out of line or am I out of place? Am I out of time or am I out of space? Am I out her mind now that I'm out her space? Okay, I feel the force. We on a collision course. Decisions yours. Be careful what you wishing for. I see the cup is running full. Try not to spill it all. Need so much space. You see the moon and you don't feel as far. Should have seen it in the smile. Demons scheming on the prowl. Should have seen when I'm in need that this being would it be around. Sometimes my vision smeared, but it's crystal clear that you disappeared. I disappeared. I get through this air like a missile squared. Guided by the goddess just to hit the mat and be a dud. Speeding with the mind as if it go off track and be in mud. Now I'm spinning out. Tires thinning out. I ain't winning now. Hold up. Fuck it. I'm thinking about you were just a dream for me. The perfect person is what you seem to be. The type of good views that come with scenery. You were just a dream for me. You ain't disappear on my worst days. You was never there in the first place. Man. Even, even the way you did the voices back and forth, it was mm -hmm. almost like there was a ghost talking, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that, that, was the, that, was the, um, that was the goal. Yeah, yeah, that's all I was going for. I, I lost my train, my train of words. Why are you laughing, man? That was the that, that was the goal. You know what Chuck I'm trying to say. Shit. Yeah, you good, you good, man. I was just playing. Um, so um, yeah, man, I, I love that track. Um, when 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 you send that type of beat, I know uh, you sent a bunch, right? But yeah. you know what type of beat you're sending? Sending. Yeah, you, do you expect that type of track back? Because that's a different type of track than any other track on here. Yeah. Um. 
I, I don't know. Uh, I, Great honest like, answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I just um I know how he you know how he raps. You know what I'm saying. So it's, yeah. it's like I said, I, I I always try to send some. I'm gonna send you my style of beats. I don't make trap beats. I don't make drill beats. I don't make none of that. You know, I'm gonna mm-hmm. tell you straight up. Like I've been asked to make it. I'm not saying I can't, but I don't. You know, I'm not from that era. You, you know, never have, like you've never been commissioned and did it, or no. You just said, no. nah, sorry, I didn't make yeah, nah, I, 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 I'll send you something. My, I'll, I'll put it my way. You know, Comparable, I'll call, I'll right call it boom, boom yeah. bap trap or something. But right, right. But like an official like trap beat, nah, I won't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I look at it. I as, apologize as, for asking the question. You look real yeah, disrespectful. No, 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 I, I was playing. I, 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 I don't know. Yeah. You're like, nah, son. I already said I'll make that shit. And no, that's, man, that's where it is. I don't. I don't. That's, you know, that's like just, I know I'm just fucking with you, dear. Yeah, that's like yeah, that's like uh that's like when people uh when I've had people come over here to record and then when I mix them down and they ask me to put auto tune on their voice. I'm like <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's I, don't, I, don't, I don't I don't I don't do that. I don't do that sorry. over here, man. I don't even do that. when I even, <laughs> when I even when I look for singers and stuff, I'm like, oh, if you can't really sing, I, I'm not gonna mess. I'm like, I'm not gonna put auto tune on your voice, like. Don't come and tell me you can sing, but you need auto tune because you're not getting it. You know, okay. we, we, you know, it, it's it's not gonna happen. I totally you know, feel you. Somebody no, tried to put auto tune on my voice I, one time. I was like, no, sir, no. I, I leave a lot of my beats <laughs> too <laughs> a little simple, you know. Yeah. Because I, I like the the MC to be the last instrument on a beat. Mm. You know, that's how I look at it. Because mm. I, I expect whoever is gonna rap on that beat to finish the track. You know what I'm saying? Like like mm-hmm. put that icing on the cake. You know, I don't yeah. want someone just to rap, you know, mm-hmm. run, you know, ride that beat, you know, and, and yes, sir. He, he took these beats and, and transformed them into something perfect. You know? mm-hmm. So talk about being the instrument on a track. I know a lot of us think like that these days, and we've been taught that through the years, and we've learned that through the years. You are another instrument. It wasn't always considered that, but now we all know for sure you are another instrument on the track. So talk mm-hmm. about being that, um, Dizzo, you know what I mean? Um... Like I said earlier, like when being that instrument on the track, you're that language that um that a lot of people love to hear or that sound, you know what I mean? Or, you know, the the way of information that they like to eat it, you know. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so that's that's the responsibility that I feel as that instrument. You know what I mean? Like, all right, I'm that sound that they're going to walk away with. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna be the only sound that they remember. But I'm the one that they're gonna, that's gonna have that message. You know what I mean? So that's that's what I feel is um my responsibility as that sound. You know? Yeah, yeah. 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 So uh, the next one's out on the limb. Um, yeah. Second last track. You wanna talk about that? Set it up a little bit and and what 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 inspired that track? Yeah. So out on the limb, like you know, it was. It's definitely that record that comes. At, like I wanted to put something um a little bit more hardcore after um apparition you know what i mean um and that's what out of the limb is like it's it's really aggressive it's another one of those like all right here's the bars that y'all looking for um this is the porter that y'all was introduced to you know what i mean it's another one of those um and yeah that's that's what i'd say about out of the limb i think that's a that's a, that's a video we shot out in brooklyn um to okay. plug that in there as well um but um yeah i just wanted to get the project back before i wrapped it up to a little bit more of a um hardcore setting you know what i mean mm-hmm. it's cool yeah. if we throw throw either one of these videos you mentioned it's cool if we throw them in here of course it's cool okay. yeah. yeah just make it sure we, we got to get that All on right. camera just in case later <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> there's legalities and policies yeah, in this yeah come, come at us crazy you know what i'm saying <laughs> so yeah. youtube don't fuck with us down the road you feel me <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm saying. I'll be, yeah, you know. Um, so out on the limb, man. Let's get into it, man. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Fuck that, let's get back to the disrespectful shit Your cup is running full libation and drank the rest of it Seen him getting loud when the police were standing next to him Now it's drive more quiet than how Tesla's get You can bring your squad, but in that march like where the winner went Pull it eyes like cookie size, anytime they in them in Money, powers, respect when it's all about the Benjamins And now it rendering as if it ain't ready to wrestle yet Even off the wind, my 
often win, that's how I often think I call my friends and kick it with this awkward spin On corners just to reach the goal Ask for peace to each his own, I fucks with peace but need it whole Plus the beast beneath the soul, the fiends the reaches He's control, I bees the goal From the dick I'm deep until I see the throat Sex symbol bitches look at me, it's like they read his quote Next window, if you see my views, it's like you see the coach Pressed in the feeling far from home, that's why you keep it close They keep coming round though, but have to put them down dog Hit they corners, pull up and spring like we was round hoes Didn't know me, couldn't be friends, nigga your pounds off With your little bosses if you're sound off My nigga, why? I'm getting by this nigga Income like a spider, nigga You couldn't be where my car been if you were fiber, nigga You ain't the shit, you just a piece of one See him trying to go out on a limb until you see the jump My nigga, why? Jump, my nigga like you knew he was back on your bullshit. He's like, all right, let's, yeah. let's get back to the, you know what I mean? Let's get back to the disrespectful <laughs> shit. Like, I right, don't that. Shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so the placement of the tracks, did you already know that when you writing a song like that? Did you know the placement of the tracks when you coming in? Yeah, like that? I, mm -hmm. yeah. So like, what what was happening was like when the beats were coming in, we were making songs right as it was going, and mm -hmm. um, eventually, like when there was a project in, I like you know we see it, you know we could see a project. Um, yeah. Some of these tracks were designed for the project. You know what I okay. mean? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so what what like, track does that start with? Do you already have three, four, two? Was Bodega Rap the first track? No, the first one was Out on the Limb that I got. Oh. Yeah. Out Out on the Limb, the the one that yeah, that was the, yeah, yeah, that was yeah. the first joint that I got. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. But yeah, so you must have written that, some before that and then sent them. What you sent them is that kind of how that works in, in terms of order yeah you know what i mean in terms of order like some of the records were definitely like designed to go like after like in the mm -hmm. air and um bodega mm -hmm. rap for sure mm -hmm. you see what i mean mm -hmm. but like out on the limb and like even the record that's about to come on now only me were mm -hmm. like um those are records that like uh you know were kind of like uh, like only me was inspired by how i felt at the time you know what I mean? Like, thank um, you for doing our job for us, by the way. No, man, I was about <laughs> no you could. Hey, yo. I think, no, it's great. I'm dead serious. I'm thank you. Like, wait, am I introducing the next track? Like, by default, do your thing, brother. Show shit. <laughs> <laughs> do your thing, man. Go ahead. Keep it moving. But yeah. Um. For like example, like only me. I wrote those lyrics. Um. At a time where like I felt alone. You know what I mean? Like I felt like nobody really was. Um like helping me out doing what I wanted to do but that was because it was what I wanted to do you see what I mean not to make it not to put it against anybody like we don't want to do it because it's smart or that da. but like this is what I want to do it's like all right so I felt alone but the the title also like it being only me on the project and only DLP on the production side like it's like only you know only us you know what I mean but um so that's how I felt at the time of titling the record only me you know what i mean and yeah. like that's how the the project comes across like you know we'll build it as we go but as we see something in sight like a lot of songs will be designed to come after you okay okay you, you're teaching some of these young bucks that might not know how that works i'm on some real shit build a project you know <laughs> yeah no seriously man people watch this kind of shit and they, they gonna take from that you know what i'm saying yeah you can't and just i don't i don't just put like you know songs together i kind of try to put uh at least have the beat sound like okay. I see what's going on here. Yeah, I can keep so that, up in my head. Right, so there's a groove through the project. Um, right. But I was serious about do your thing because it's easy when the when the when the person you're interviewing just take just flows into their own shit. I'm yeah, like, cool, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I'm, no, I want I want that. And so you know, it's flowing you, nice. You caught it right when I caught it. Like I caught it at the same time. Like, wait, am I interested? He's like, go ahead. Like, I'm like, <laughs> hey. so I be telling Deku like, yo, that was easy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That person just talked yeah. their way through their own shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, but good shit. That's right. when you know it's flowing yeah. nice, man. It's the last track, only me. And we could we could shoot the shit a little bit after this too, if y'all got time or whatever. Um, but let's get into it, man. Last track, only me. This this album is Bodega Rap, Denzel Porter DLP. Let's go, baby. Yep. <laughs> Check it out, uh. Look, I got a big dog 
but keep my gun close Around beef, I raise the stakes as if it's rump roast How I'm raised, it was done so Smell the haze if you come close to grab a change into gun smoke Sitting at the top like Rapunzel I belong here, oh yeah Book savvy and street smarts Pockets like my high school sweetheart Shit fat now, that's now Never with sweethearts, I'm not that nigga If I get the Kit Kats, be running out, they snicker My chick apartment like Vietnam My dick bomb, even stand-up comedians Want a sitcom, back on some dog shit Leaving bitches heated and ticked off Even my misused one like a miss Y'all. A troublemaker from humble makings Nabby boy, hair like how crumble cake is But I'm wearing it proud They made me feel it was a curse But now I feel it's a crown I've been fly Been a while since I've been feeling the ground I'm looking up like where my ceiling is now No limitations Flattered by imitation They be stealing it how Nigga, it's me And only me Straight up compared to crumble cake <laughs> i was like damn man that was that was that was impressive i was like this this fool found a way hold on you got like it. i said oh my fault. You gotta, there you go. yeah i'm here i'm here i'm here <laughs> i was like damn yeah yeah crumble cake yeah <laughs> yeah you think that i'm like hold up yeah it called, that was <laughs> cold like crumble cake like. <laughs> No, that was a cold line, and then you would start, you know, yeah. I haven't touched the ground in day. I forget how you said it. Cold yeah, ass bars in the album, man. Mm -hmm. It's like um, it's almost like he was back on that disrespecting shit, but it was more, a little nicer, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The yeah, bars yeah, right, yeah. bars, bars mm -hmm. in the album, man. I think and, that um, last record, um, only me, like that the beat is what like cause I wanted to end the project with a bang, you know what I mean? I could have ended it without on a limb, but that beat. Yeah, it's like mm -hmm. I was about to get into that this? too. Like, yeah, you could have. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, to me, that's the hardest beat right there. To me, that, that's yeah, that beat is. Yeah, yeah, that shit makes yeah. your face go like. Yeah, oh, yeah, y'all ain't see me. I, I did that. Yeah. <laughs> like, and in yeah. fact, if you, got, if you got like a remix or a similar beat to that. Yeah, I'm playing. I'm totally fucking around. Right, <laughs> I am 100 percent joking, but but not so. No, so, he's not. Uh, he's not joking. I'm halfway joking. <laughs> uh, come on, man. Fuck me. Don't be. Come on, son. Anyway, now nah, this has been fun, man. I hope you had a good yeah, time, both of y'all, man. Definitely. Um, any any parting words? Any any uh new shit coming that y'all want to talk about? Any um exclusives we can get? Um, yeah, I'm um, talking yeah, ahead, about man. Intel joint. Yeah, yeah, I got Intel project coming out. Um, Denzel's on yeah. that too. Okay, dope, dope. Um, yeah, a lot of nice features on that. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No, yeah, yeah, no, just saying a lot of nice features on that. Um, we just wrapped it up basically, we're just waiting for the whole you know mastering process done, and then it's then that'll be out. I think May 26th, we're trying to push for. Okay, so don't, don't hold them to specific dates, we don't like that on there. Yeah, we well, that's why I said try, try, try. <laughs> yeah, and, I ain't giving no date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, ish, no tender, 26 no tender, ish. Right. Yeah, we're, 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 we're still waiting on the cover. Well, you know, you know how it is. So yeah, 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 for yeah, sure, yeah. for sure. But all the verses are in. All the everything, the music is done. It's just the uh, you know the rest of the process. Okay, okay. So. Are we gonna see any um any, any any OCD stuff coming or? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. So I'm hey. supposed to be flying out. Um, next month, I believe, to go. See, I don't want to give no date, so I no, don't I, give I, one. <laughs> don't do it. I said next month. Niggas will be mad. They'd be like, "This motherfucker said." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm supposed to be flying out there to meet up with Chris and Oz and finally get this done. Like we already mm -hmm. started, you know what I mean? But um, we started a couple years ago, and we we I know we outshining ourselves already, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? But mm -hmm. I feel like. That might be something like when we sit down and talk, that's something that we could play off of to be creative with this project. You know what I mean? Just to drop a little, um, you know, secret sauce that we might do. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But yeah. But yeah, I'm supposed to be flying out to meet up with Chris and Oz and finally get the this OCD project on the ground, you know? That's what's up, man. That's what's up. That's dope. Yeah. Um, and uh, anything else? Anything else y'all want to say? Any parting words? No, just just nah, I appreciate yeah, yeah. yeah, and I appreciate y'all. You know, I, I 
I've been doing interviews for years now, and I tell everybody, like, my favorite interviews is when it turns into a conversation. You know what I mean? It's hey, not like love it. just yeah. asking questions. It's like, yeah, yo, yeah. we talking, we laughing, and it's not it's not like somebody pressed the button and said applause. You know what I mean? Like, this is, like, authentic, <laughs> yeah. good conversation. So I appreciate y'all for having oh, me man. and Appre- being on it. Bro, I appreciate yeah. your time, man. Thank you, GLP, man, both of y'all. So much. We understand how time is valuable, especially these days, man. Really appreciate that. And the compliment of it being a conversation. I can't stand that stick figure button yeah. pushing shit. Can't do it, bro. This is yeah. supposed to be a natural conversation, having fun with the music. Yeah. So I'm glad you enjoy yourself. That's the biggest compliment, you know what I'm saying? On some real that, shit. That, that, that record you're on, too, is coming. Don't worry. Oh, Thank shit. You. Look, I wasn't even gonna say shit on air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But no, nah, he got me. He got me yeah. do a hook, man. That's look. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you like this. That song is hard as fuck. I'm not yeah. a hard. I'm not a hard MC. But when I heard that, I'm like, I'm doing. I'm going hard as if I'm bucking guns in the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it, and it's not my song, so I can go hard. So I love yeah, that. I'm not playing. I love that hook. I'm glad you said it. Yeah, Appreciate it worked y'all, out, man. It worked out good. It's man, coming. That shit is hard. They cool dog. That shit is hard, bro. Uh, You're gonna be like Ram, you gangster that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but for real, man. Peace, y'all. This has been Pick Apart the Passion Podcast. And sometimes you have to pick us excuse me. Sometimes you have to pick apart yourself to get to your passion. Peace, everybody. Pick apart the passion. Pick 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 pick